Uh, this is our FileMaker Pro calendar in FileMaker 13. And I think you guys have seen these little switches before. We introduced them in FileMaker 12. And I really like them. And they're pretty simple. Um, if you kind of go into layout mode, you'll see that we have two objects. Um, one's got this fill, you can see here, and the other's got this fill. Whoops, don't move stuff. Um, and they're just conditionally formatted to show up and hide in some cases. So this is before we had you know, the hide object when in FileMaker 13. So this is just conditionally formatted to hide if that source is active. And they look like little switches, which is really cool. So I'm just going to revert the layout. Um, and in browse mode, they work great, but the only trick is, is that they just kind of, um, you know, they just kind of click. Like when you click one of them, they just, they don't move. Uh, but we can solve that in FileMaker 13. So what I wanted to show you is what this might look like in FileMaker 13. So this is exactly what you think it is. It's a little uh, slide control with two objects on it. We've just been really careful about the p pixels. So it uh, works really well. I think it even works well if we zoom into it. Let's go 400. Whoa. Whoa. All right, let's see if that looks. Yeah, Photoshop doesn't look great. And it actually goes so slow in, um, in this case. But when it's smaller, it looks pretty cool. So let's see what it looks like at 200. Yeah, not bad. And then certainly at 100%, it looks just like you'd expect it to, kind of just like a little switch. So uh, it's pretty cool. So um, we'll make the sample file available. The only thing to kind of keep in mind is that it's just what you think. There's two slide controls. You can click on the bottom area here and bring this little guy up. There's number one, and you can see its name, switch on. And there's number two, its name, switch off. And we have two little scripts that kind of uh, manage this. It's really straightforward, um, pretty portable. The, uh, the only trick is that in order to make it look nice, you have to round the corners of both, let's go over here, of both the slide control, see it has a corner radius, and of the slide control panel. Giving those both a corner radius will kind of make it look uh, a lot more fluid, so you don't have an object kind of escaping the, the slide control enclosure when you switch. Otherwise, you can have kind of square objects kind of show up off to the side. But um, looks pretty cool. Thanks.